Hello guys and welcome back. Let's solve a new lead code problem. Today's problem is the lowest common ancestor of a binary search tree. So first we are given a binary search tree. We want to find the lowest common ancestor node of two given nodes in the BST. First, let's see what is the lowest common ancestor based on Wikipedia. So the lowest common ancestor is defined between two nodes P and Q as that the lowest node in T that has both P and Q as descendant. Also here it, it's mentioned that a node can be a descendant of itself. So for example, if we take two and eight, the lowest common ancestor is six. So like between, between this this root node because two and eight are located directly under under the node with the value six. So for example, if we take two and four, so the lowest common ancestor is two, since two can be a descendant of itself. So this is what this means. So now we have something important. So we have a BSD, a binary search tree. So this is going to help us a lot in finding the solution and mainly in solving this problem in the time complexity of O log N. Since in a binary search tree, we know that all the elements which are greater than the root are located on the right side of the tree and all the elements that are less than the root are located on the left side of the, of the tree. So for example, even if we take uh, this root, so we know all the elements located on the right are greater than the root itself and all the elements located on the left are less or less than the root itself. So this is the definition or this is the property of a binary search tree. So now moving to the problem and let's see the intuition. So given for example, let's say I want to find the lowest common ancestor for a, a value or like Q equals two and P equals eight. All right, so here the first thing that we want to check, since we have a binary search tree, we want to check, first of all, if P and Q are less or greater than the root itself. So here assuming, so let me take a different example. So here I want to find the value two, or like I want to find the lowest common ancestor for zero, for the value zero and P equals four, all right? So here we know that zero and four are less than six. So we want to search on this side of the tree. All right, then we go down to this one. We check zero and four. If zero and four are both of them are less than two, no, the answer is not. But zero is less than two, but four is greater than two. So here we can notice that two is automatically the parent or the lowest common ancestor of these two given inputs. Now let's take a different example. All right, now let's take Q equals seven and P equals nine. So both of them are greater than the root. So we want to search in the right hand side of the tree or the, or the right sub tree of my tree. So here I have seven and nine are both of them. Like I first, I want to check if both of them are greater than the root itself. So the answer is not. So I just need to return this one. Otherwise I go to the the other side of, of the tree. So this is mainly it. Like the solution for this problem is quite simple. So all I need to do is to check if my P and Q are both of them greater than the root. So I know that I need to go to the right hand side. Otherwise I want to go to the left hand side of the tree. Otherwise, if it's not the case or if P and Q, both of them are not less or greater than the root. So we just return the root itself. So this drives us directly to the code. So let's go and jump and let me explain to you the code. It's quite simple and it's easy. Like we can do it, as I mentioned before, we can solve it in an O log N time complexity. The internet today is not as open and simple as it used to be. Some content is restricted by location. Websites track your every move and managing multiple online accounts can feel impossible without getting flagged. Whether you're trying to browse privately, access geoblocked content or securely manage multiple accounts, you need a tool that gives you full control over your online identity. That's where Go Login comes in. Go Login isn't just about privacy. It's about freedom, security, and control over your online experience. And here's what makes it different. Unblock any content, access restricted sites, streaming platforms, and services from everywhere. Full digital privacy. 
and like regular browsers, Go Login stops websites from tracking you. Multi account management easily switch between different profiles for work, social media, or business. Work securely from anywhere. Share accounts with your team without sharing passwords. And no IP bans, no tracking. Go Login hides more than just your location, it protects your entire online identity. And finally, get 2 GB of free residential proxies included. Get fast and secure access to content worldwide. If you want your privacy, security, and complete online freedom, Go Login is the tool you need. Try it for free today. Click the link in the description. All right, so here we have our method lowest common ancestor. So first I just created a variable and initialize it to root. And then while my current variable or like my current node is not null, first I want to do the first check that we explained before. If p.value is greater than current.value and the q.value is greater than the root itself. So this means I want to go and search on the right hand side of the tree. Otherwise, if my value is less than the than the root dot value and the q dot value is less than the current or the root dot value so in this case i want to search in the left hand side of the tree otherwise if it's not the case as explained before i just need to return the current and finally all i need to do is to return the current node or like the node because like we have a method and we need to return a value so finally we return a value so here as i explained before we are sure that the number of nodes so like first we go through the constraints the number of nodes of the tree are in the range of two and then uh, two and ten to the power of five and this is like the the range of the values and here like the most important ones is all the nodes are unique and also p is different of q so for example we will not have p and q having the same value and also like the final one p and q will exist in the binary search tree so that's why when we return finally the current value we are sure that we have one response or one result for this problem that was it for this problem i hope you got the intuition and i hope you got the solution if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends and see you in the next one.